So this is a typical bell siphon, except everything is clear in order to see what's going on. We are looking at a clear bell pipe with a white PVC stamp pipe inside it. As you can see, the flow going into the reservoir is quite low, so the water level rises slowly. Eventually, when the water level gets to the top of the sand pipe, the water trickles over and cannot start the siphon. This is the first failure mode of the typical bell siphon. During this failure mode, the siphon cannot break during high flow conditions. Here in the video, the siphon has already started and water is draining from the reservoir. When the water level gets to the bottom, air is able to get into the bell pipe, but because of continuous, fast flow in, it cannot break. This is the second failure mode of classic bell siphons. So the tipper works by changing a constant flow in to an intermittent flow in. This helps with both starting and stopping the bell siphon. So here we use the same low flow rate into the reservoir except added our tipper to the bell siphon system. The tipper stores up the slow flow until it finally rotates. When it does, it dumps a large volume of water which immediately starts the siphon. The siphon drains the reservoir as normal until the water level reaches the bottom of the bell pipe. Air then enters and breaks the siphon as you see here, effectively solving the first failure mode. In this demonstration, we used the same fast high flow conditions as during our second failure mode, yet added our tipper to the bell siphon system. Because of this higher flow rate in, the tipper dumps more often. Here, the siphon starts as normal. But then as we see here, the tipper holds back the incoming flow rate long enough for the air to break the siphon. This effectively solves the second failure mode. Thanks for watching.